So I came down this piece of road yesterday and I was thinking about Mr. Heavy Chevy while I was doing it because Mr. Heavy Chevy lives up here somewhat to the right of uh, Charlotte and I'm on 85 going north but in South Carolina, he's in North Carolina, he, he, at least he is if he's home. But you notice over there there's a row of cars in between two walls, there's a trailer truck that got in there. And then there's a row of trucks over on the far left, and there's another wall. What they've done over there is they got the trailer truck supposedly all running in a in a lane, and that lane is just about it's well if you can just imagine if you just some of y'all had been in the military and you know you have you have to run these uh courses like oh what's the word I'm looking for? You know how you go in the military and they have you crawl under barbed wire while they shoot machine guns at you and they have you climb up a a, 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 a wall and uh, maybe grab a rope and and swing like Tarzan you know and then jump off the other side and roll over and pick up your machine gun and shoot at the enemy what's well, that's what that road's like over there it is like it's like leftover pieces of old road that don't work anymore that they've took and, and, and laid out in, in like a pattern. It's like a jigsaw pattern. And when you go down through there, you like have a tire that rolls over one piece of road. It's, you know, it's on a certain level. Then the next piece it runs over might be on a completely different level. And of course the joining and section between the two of them ain't straight. So it's like, like on one side it's like this and on the other side it's like cat. And then it's like this and that and this and that. And, and you're just hopping down the road, bouncing around like Jiminy Cricket, you know, singing that yippity doo dah song. No, that's a, I'm mixing up my metaphors, ain't I? Let's see, Jiminy Cricket was, oh my, oh my, what a wonderful day. That's what he's singing about. Anyway, that's what I'm singing about too, because it occurred to me that that piece of roadage over there where you see all them trucks at, that would make an excellent training ground and an obstacle course for, I mean, I could just, I'm always watching, you know, um, Mr. Heavy Chevy, he talks sometimes about they try to get people to come to work for him, and he, he works for a company where they have some heavy machinery, and I, th I think that driving around, you know, playing with tractors and, 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 and trucks and dump trucks and stuff like that. That's, that's the kind of thing every little boy wishes he could do, you know. And He says they have a hard time finding people to work for them because, A, most people nowadays don't know how to work a straight shift transmission, and they don't necessarily all have automatic transmissions in their trucks. And to be honest with you, I have a feeling that, that the whole idea of having automatic transmissions in trucks is a way to lessen the abilities of Americans, so if we ever have to go to <clears throat> battle, we won't be prepared because nobody know how to drive anything with a straight shift transmission. And you know the government probably ain't gonna put air conditioning and automatic transmissions in all their all their uh, uh, tactical vehicles. So you know it's just it just lowers the lowers the ability rate of people in this country. But that's just getting me off on another subject. But what I started talking about was that that over there is like what i think they ought to do like if i was if i was a mr heavy chevy and and i was trying to hire people and some guy showed up and he says i want to be a truck driver i want to be a you know i want to drive a dump truck or something they could take them they could bring them down here they could put them in a vehicle uh, hopefully a big truck just so they get the feel for the whole experience see how them cars is in one lane and trucks in the other they could put them in a vehicle and, and let them drive down that piece of road. Now, if they could make it from one piece of that road to another piece of that road, like if they could make it through cow pens, this is cow pens right here, uh, and not kill themselves or somebody else or damage the vehicle, I'd give them, I'd hire them. You know, if you can pull that off, and you got a job, buddy, you drive over there, you can drive anywhere. I mean, that's what I'm thinking is it could be a, a like a, a, like a, like a, I'm trying to, I'm gonna say obstacle course, but that's not the right word. It could be like a test, uh, test vehicle only it's not a vehicle, but I mean it could be a test, you know, we're gonna take you out We're gonna put you on that piece of test road And if you can drive through there and survive, we'll give you a job You know, I mean that would be an ideal place to do it because to be honest with you I'm surprised there's as many truck drivers over there as they is driving on that road I'm surprised they all hadn't crashed and banged into each other already because that's, that's pretty horrible I mean you might notice this piece of road I'm on ain't great but for South Carolina standards, it's pretty good compared to what they got over there. What they got over there is real bad. It's just real bad. <clears throat> anyway, so I didn't think I was going to have anything to say today, but then I got on this road, and I was remembering yesterday I wished I'd had camera within reach, not that I maybe would have wanted to be 
talking on camera and tried to drive on such an awful piece of road. But I mean, you know, I was just thinking, dang, I'll tell Mr. Heavy Chevy about this. Dang, I said, and then I said again. I said, dang, and then I said, dang again. Dang, dang again. <clears throat> So anyway, I just want to share that with y'all because some of y'all just sitting around in your houses and you ain't got nothing going on today and you need to go out and adjust the, sprock, the, the, the spokes on your bicycle tire and all that stuff and you just don't want to do it because it's hot outside and your air conditioner is working on the inside and you'd rather stay in. You need something to do while you're on the inside. You can watch me talk on the, go up the road and talk about, uh, let's see now, what are I talking about? Talk about oh, the, the obstacle course they got down here in South Carolina that they've put in for your pleasure and for your entertainment and, and for mine. So that's all I'm gonna say about right, that right there. I appreciate y'all, love you. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm driving my way back to Maine right now. I'm gonna get me another load. We're moving. <clears throat> I'm gonna drive up there and get another load and bring it back. Maybe maybe if things worked out well, we'll have uh, old Rusty Acres going with us here uh, next time we come down through here. I mean, that's the plan. He's had COVID, he, he's had the COVID and I think he's going to a funeral yesterday or today i mean the man bless his heart there's all kind of things going on i'm gonna pass this truck y'all don't mind do you hang on a second let me i don't like to i don't like to not have my focus all together focused when i drive next to a truck i seen i seen too many of them blow that front tire when they do boy they're gonna be on top of you just quicker than heck so yeah i get him passed and then we can continue the conversation as though nothing really happened and i tell you really the bad thing about this year video that i'm making is that i don't have I don't have the ability to put this video up because my computer quit working this morning. And I tell you what I did. I, I was going up the road a while ago, and I said to myself, "Self, I wonder if you can order a new computer and drive and drive this thing up the road all at the same time." Because the first guy I called, he told me, "Well, you know, the computers won't be out till September first because." I think because of COVID, everything, you know, anything you want, you have to wait for it right now. So I thought maybe if I, if I called them right now, I could have one by the time I get up to Maine. Well, that ain't going to happen. But, but I was able to order one and buy it. And even though I won't have it by the time I get up there, I'll still have it quicker than if I waited till I got up there. And on top of that, since my computer ain't working, I wouldn't be able to order one on the corn computer, but I was able to order one on the telephone. This nice lady who's up in Massachusetts is selling uh, computers over the phone. So I'm getting hoarse now from talking so much, so I'm going to stop. Hope y'all had a good time. If you didn't, uh, dang. And if you did, dang again. Okay then. Yeehaw! Oh, look at this piece of tricky road. Watch out, watch out. That lights are flashing. There's lanes are changing, trailer trucks and automobiles. Oh Lord have mercy. I don't know. You know I don't know how any of us is gonna survive it. Mercy sakes. Great falls of fire. Okay, I'm stopping now. Goodbye. Say hi to your mom and them. If you got a little brother, treat him good, because you know, it ain't nice to pick on your little brother. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say about I was a little brother once and I know about that, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say about that right there. Hey, Mr. Flatbed, you're the reason everybody's been going slow, ain't you? Bless your heart. Okay, then. Okay. Bye.